Hey, Measuring Hero, Jay here. Uh, thanks for coming back and thanks for joining us again. Uh, today, we thought with this uh, crazy time out there that uh, we would begin to explore uh, topics where um, we could use uh, uh, equipment uh, that are, is traditionally uh, thought of to be quality assurance, but maybe more in a production efficiency uh, capacity. So uh, in order to kind of deep dive into this theme, uh, we brought uh, Tomas Field uh, to uh, have a conversation with us about uh, EDM, which I thought was electronic dance music, but apparently it's something different. So, uh, Tomas, uh, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Oh, hi. Hi, Trey. Glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I, think, I think we need to just start at the beginning. Uh, what, what is EDM? Yeah, so EDM is, as you said, not uh, electric dance music for our point of view, uh, but it's called electric discharge machining, or you can imagine some uh, spark eroding process. So um, EDM is um, a typical manufacturing process known in the manufacturing industry, something like milling or turning. Um, and they use the effect of um, that sparks are melting workpiece material away. So, um, for example, I have here some, some um, clay, my, uh, modeling clay. I have my, my pen here as an electrode. And um, when you have your workpiece and your, your electrode, for example, so this is your, your actual tool, for example, your milling cutter uh, done um, on, a, on a milling machine, and um, you put some voltage on both of them. And as the, the uh, electrode is coming nearer and nearer to the uh, workpiece, um, you are getting some sparks between are coming from the electrode to your workpiece. And um, then you are melting actually the workpiece material away around your electrode. And what you get is the actual, I hope you can see it here, the actual form of the electrode, it melted into the workpiece material. So, uh, this so is not. Can, yeah. No, I, I'm sorry. So, you, can you make those in any shape you want? Those those electrodes. Yeah, you can. You okay. can uh, shape the electrode in any shape you want. And um, as I said, the uh, actual thing you you get is the quite opposite um, form of your of your electrode. Okay. Melted into the workpiece material, and this is done. Um, all by electricity, by sparks occurring around the, um, the uh, electrode, and it's not done by force. So not pressing my electrode into the workpiece, it's just by um, electricity and melting the material away. Okay, so I can see for uh, how, how from a manufacturing process versus you know something where you actually cut, uh, you can use delicate maybe more delicate forms or uh, maybe even smaller forms. I, I'm assuming this is a high accuracy um, manufacturing yeah. process. What kind of accuracies yeah. can we get typically here doing EDM? Yeah. That's, that's exactly the point. So um, normally you use uh, some milling technology or milling um, processes to preform already your, your workpiece. And then when you um, have some, some areas on your workpiece, where you cannot mill anymore because it's inefficient or just not economic, um, you are using um, these electrodes or EDM technology and, and in general to uh, cut through the material and get those very edgy uh, forms, for example, into your to, into your workpiece. Typical applications are uh, mold and dye industry. For example, if you look to your, your mouse, you're sitting in front of your computer, so uh, you have your computer mouse. Um, this is all done by injection molding, and they use a lot of EDM technology, for example. Okay. So maybe maybe like it's like a high accuracy finishing process uh, for 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 parts. Uh, yeah, it, it, exactly. It doesn't sound very fast. Uh, how how fast do these things typically move? 
No, that's the um, that's the point. So it's not a quite fast uh, technology. It's more a, a slow technology. So um, you can imagine um, you have a lot of sparks on your electrode, but these sparks are really small and they're just melting away some really a small amount of workpiece every time they occur. Um, sure, they have a, a high frequency, but it's still a real uh, slow process. The electrode going down into the into the workpiece. So, so, also, so can you define yeah. slow? What, what what's what's slow uh, to us? Slower than a CMM, for example. Faster than a CMM. Yeah, uh, sure. Slower than a CMM. So milling is is quite uh, quite fast. Uh, milling machines typically move faster than a CMM, um, but uh, EDM machine is um, during the process uh, quite mm -hmm. uh, slow. So these machines move move. Uh, Move slow. Now, it, it, it sounds like uh, in your example with the clay and the pen, um, it's a relative um, measurement, right? So you have to get your electrode, locate the electrode, the position of the electrode relative to the part. Uh, uh, so it would be really tough to, uh, to put it on a, some type of weird global table uh, uh, coordinate system. So it would have to be truly part specific the location of, of, of that EDM so that must be a, a pretty intense process of, of that yeah um, yeah that's, how do that's they do exactly that? that's exactly the point so uh, maybe I start from the beginning um, normally they use some some pre-shaped uh, work pieces already maybe done both with milling and as I said the parts they cannot mill they use typically this EDM process so um, as you can imagine, I have a pre-shaped part. Um, I have put a lot of work in it. It's already an expensive block of uh, metal, for example. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm just um, using my EDM, for example, now this electrode, um, and um, have to find the exact position where I use my electrode, my EDM, for example. Um, so just on tiny, small amounts or parts of the of the actual workpiece. So finding the po exact position um, where I EDM is is very crucial to the complete process. So um, now the problem is <clears throat> a lot of EDM guys do it manual uh, on their EDM machine. So they they put on um, the workpiece on the on the machine table, for example, um, and now you have to say the EDM machine, where is my part? Is it here or is it here on the table or here anywhere? Mm -hmm. Like on a milling machine, it's the same. But also if you have a, a single EDM machine, so this is the one with the, with the electrode, you have to say um, the machine, where is your electrode? So mm -hmm. is the electrode here? Is it for example here in the spindle or is, mm -hmm. it, is it here? Or just uh, some, um, put it some sideway. So that's, that's, that's very important to um, tell the machine where is my workpiece located on the machine and where is my, um, where is my electrode in the spindle okay. if you have, a, have a, a single EDM machine. On a wire EDM machine, this is maybe the same, um, like a, so the same um, technology using uh, like a single EDM, but there's just um, a, a wire cutting through the, through the material. There you just have to okay. find the position of the workpiece. So, okay. Um, so if I heard this, let, let me just test my understanding here. On uh, uh, on a sinker EDM, you need to know the exact position of the workpiece and the electrode. Yep. Uh, right. And on a wire EDM, you really only need to understand the um, uh, workpiece position. Uh, but in either case, uh, they're both EDMing processes, uh, yep. and they both kind of, if you use the machine uh, uh, to locate the either just the position of the workpiece or the uh, workpiece and the uh, electrode, it's a very inefficient way uh, to do that. Yep. Um, so what, what, what do those solutions look like if you could outsource, if you will, outside yep. of the EDM? Uh, 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 what does yeah. that look like? Exactly. So um, 
maybe one, one step back. They are um, okay. typically using some, some dial, go, uh, dial gauges on the EDM machine, doing oh. this manually, it takes a lot of time, um, maybe 15 to 30 minutes. It's de always depending on the application, sure. But so in general, over the complete EDM machinery um, market, it's maybe so 15 to 30 minutes um, um, setup time. Um, till you can start your EDM process. And that's wow. the big problem because you are first, you are using um, an expensive EDM machine measuring parts. And that's um, also, uh, you get a lot, a lot of low productivity because while your EDM machine is, is idling, is measuring, it's not producing any part. It's not making any money. Yeah. Yeah. Really, exactly. That's the point. You have a low productivity, a high uh, costs, and uh, long lead times. So your production, um, till you get your product, your part out of production takes a lot of time. And because of the high costs, it's even more expensive. So you, you have um, um, bad competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's, they are not so competitive. Right, right. So... And uh, the last very important point, which is often um, not in mind, um, is that you have actually no quality information about how good was your, your dial uh, gauging on the part. So you, you just have to trust that, I, um, that the worker right. is doing it right. And um, you see it afterwards when you measure the quality of your, your part. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so no um, in-process checking. Yeah. Uh, uh, in process validation. Uh, yeah. And in our approach, um, we are using a CMM instead of, um, of uh, measuring directly on the EDM machine. So um, maybe the overall frame um, says is typically, or, or CMMs in general are typically used to, um, to measure quality. So to measure our parts, maybe uh, measuring some, some diameters and so on. And mm -hmm. based on a report, you can um, then decide is the part good or bad. Right. So in, in, in our main application, we are um, providing the customer more productivity and a benefit to his, um, to his production. And the quality thing is uh, more or less an, a nice add-on he can use. Secondary, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's secondary. And what we do is, we take away all these measurement tasks we do manually on our EDM, put it on our CMM. Mm -hmm. And um, while the EDM machine is producing parts, we are actually measuring um, the tasks or the electrodes and the work pieces for the next job. Okay, okay. So what you're really doing is your because you can outsource the location of the parts and the electrodes if it's a sinker, uh, yeah. to uh, the CMM, you are vastly improving the ROI of your EDM, which I'm assuming is right. a really expensive machine. Yeah, um, yeah, really. It's um, three times, for example, three times to four times more expensive than a, um, a CMM. Sure, it's depending on which CMM we use, but mm -hmm. typically Duramax, uh, maybe four times to five times more expensive. Wow, wow. Sure. So for an investment, for an investment, a quarter, uh, potentially a quarter of the cost of a single EDM, you could greatly um, increase the throughput of that of that uh, yeah. uh, of that EDM. Throughput and productivity is, is the right word there. Yeah. Sure. And then so, I guess at the end of the day, you could still do quality work too, you know, uh, sure. on that same CMM. Sure, you are using wow. the, the CMM uh, um, maybe um, thirty percent by uh, making these offset measurements, um, and the rest of the day you can still use it for um, for the quality measurements. That's uh, how many customers of, of our EDM um, solution now are using a CMM right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. That's great. I I. I when I first heard of uh, this uh, theory, I thought it was great. So uh, thank you for coming because uh, um, I don't know that a lot of people, you know, when you think of a CMM, you think quality assurance, you think 
you know, something you uh, do at the end of the process. You don't always think of our machinery as something that is uh, uh, part of a uh, production process. So when I heard this, I thought uh, it was great for us, uh, uh, for us here to learn about. So uh, I appreciate uh, you coming uh, uh, and talking to us about it. Uh, if, uh, if there are any questions, if anyone in the uh, comment section has any questions, uh, can they get a hold of us? Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, we know how to do this at, uh, at SAIS. We have uh, done a lot of uh, projects already in the past, maybe uh, more than five years experience in this field. And uh, Perfect. Yeah. So we know what we're doing. So, so I mean, if, they, if, they, if, if someone has a question about it, they can come to us uh, uh, and uh, maybe we can uh, get, guide them in, 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 in a good direction and see if this approach is something is something for them. Uh, great, great. Well, um, I appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for taking the time and coming to talk to us. Um, uh, and uh, I welcome. guess for you, uh, thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Um, and for you out there, thank you for uh, for joining us. Uh, we appreciate it uh, as we continue to uh, explore different things about metrology that maybe we uh, didn't even know about. So. Uh, please uh, continue to uh, stay healthy and continue to stay safe out there, and we'll see you next Thursday. Cheers.